everyone, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that was actually requested by a gal over on Insta called Neha. If you're watching this, hey girl, what's going on? And she requested a comparison of the Louis Vuitton desk agenda and the cloth and paper desk agenda. And I thought this was such a great idea for a video because these agendas are at two different price points. I think it would be really interesting to compare the materials and the layout of the planners so that if you're in the market for one of these two desk agendas, you can make a really clear decision on which one you want to get, whether it's going for that luxury product or going for something that's less than half the price. I'm going to include timestamps in this video, so if there's specific information that you guys are interested in, you can just skip to that portion in the video. But first, we're just going to be talking about the uh, price and where you can get these two agendas. The first agenda that I'm going to be focusing on is the Louis Vuitton desk agenda. This agenda retails for about 525 Canadian dollars before tax and it comes in four different color schemes. I personally have the monogram print, um, which I really, really enjoy, but it also comes in the damier print in both the black and the brown color, and I believe a black taiga leather. This agenda can be purchased at the Louis Vuitton website and as well in store where you can get free complimentary monogramming in the bottom left corner. The cloth and paper desk agenda comes in this pink color and this black color, and it retails for about $160 Canadian. Now, it's important to remember that since this is an online shop, if you're going to be shipping this to Canada, you will likely be charged duty. So after duty, it probably will be about $200 to $250. First, I'm going to do a quick comparison of the size of these two desk agendas. I'm going to be using the pink desk agenda from Cloth & Paper for this video, just so you can see a little easier. So the main difference in the size between these agendas, they are both 23 inches in height. I apologize, I can't zoom out my camera anymore or um, you'll be seeing weird bits of my background, but they are both 23 inches in height. If you look this way, you can see that. And the Louis Vuitton agenda is slightly na narrower in width. I believe it's about 18 centimeters wide and the cloth and paper is 20 centimeters wide so that's about a two centimeter difference and if I open this agenda up and I open up the Louis Vuitton agenda you can see here that there's about this much room on either side in difference so that's just something to be aware of depending on what you're putting in the desk agenda having a bit more width might be really good for you or it might just not be something that you need and it's just there anyway So next I'm going to be talking about the material of these two agendas. The Louis Vuitton agenda is made out of two materials. The first material is on the outside. It is a coated canvas and the inside of the agenda is this coated leather material. I'm not exactly sure of the specific type of leather, but to me this looks like a Safino leather. The cloth and paper agenda is made out of a 100% leather. It doesn't specify the type, but I would guess it is also probably a Safino leather, as you can see. Besides like the actual leather type, if you are getting this desk agenda in this light pink color by cloth and paper, because it's such a light color, you do need to be really careful with not um, getting any dirt stains or other smudges on it because it's gonna show really easily. And in my experience with getting dirt on this, it has been a bit difficult to remove. So that has nothing to do with the actual um, design of this product. It's just if you're getting a light color, then that's kind of a risk that you got to be aware of versus a darker color like this is not going to stain it as easily. And from my experiences with other Louis Vuitton products, the canvas is quite durable in their products, which is really nice. One big difference in the construction of these two agendas that I want to point out before we go into the interior pockets is the um, stiffness of the agendas. The Louis Vuitton agenda is incredibly stiff. If, oh, I'm sorry. It's incredibly flexible. As you can see, it's really bendy 
and it doesn't have any type of like reinforcement in it at all as you could see like I could I'm not going to but I could honestly like roll it up if I wanted to the cloth and paper agenda is a lot more stiff and that's because you have reinforcements here and here in the agenda so this area right here as you can see is not reinforced but if I go over here it's a lot stiffer and that's just gonna have a big um, difference in the type of stuff you're gonna be able to put in the agenda because it's gonna be a bit constrained by the reinforcement and I'm gonna talk about that later when I put in a regular sew notebook and a disc bound notebook and talk about what these planners can both hold but that's just something to keep in mind Going into the inside of the cloth and paper agenda, on the front pocket on the left, you have six card slots going down the front with a large slot here, which you can monogram, as well as two, I don't think these are called secretarial pockets, but maybe side opening pockets. And this one you can actually slip a notebook into. In the back, you have a pen loop. This is unique to the cloth and paper desk agenda. The Louis Vuitton desk agenda does not have a pen loop. So that's an important detail for some people, as well as a front loading pocket, a secretarial pocket, and a back loading pocket. And as you noticed here, the leather does not extend all the way around the agenda as the Louis Vuitton does. You do have this type of, it feels almost like a linen, and this is to reinforce the agenda. You also have the cloth and paper symbol gold embossed into the right hand corner. The Louis Vuitton desk agenda on the left hand front pocket has a top opening pocket which is quite shallow, a secretarial pocket, and a um, side loading pocket which you can slide your notebook into. On the back side you have six card slots which are a lot more narrow than the cloth and paper agenda as you can see as well as this bottom shallow pocket, which can be used for like a business card or some type of maybe like a brochure. You also then have the opening side pocket and you can also slip a notebook into this. So another really important thing I wanted to focus on in this comparison was how notebooks actually fit into both of these desk agendas. I'm gonna be using a standard sewn notebook. This is actually my bullet journal. This is what I use every day and I've put these in both these agendas. And I'm also going to be using a disc bound notebook and talk about the size of rings that you can fit into both of these agendas. Starting with the Louis Vuitton agenda, I'm going to actually, for both of these, just slip the back cover of the notebook into the agenda because that's how I would put it in and I think that's how a lot of people would. So that's what I'm going to be using for this comparison. So as you can see, this agenda can slip all the way out to here. I personally don't put it that far. I kind of go in the middle here and it closes really well there's a ton of room as you can see right here and I've actually seen people stuff this with a disc bound notebook as well I believe her name is bunny plans but she's actually done a disc bound notebook as well as you can see with these one inch discs you can't fit both of these in the agenda so that's just something to note but this is pretty heavy so I wouldn't recommend that. Next, I'm gonna put this disc bound insert into the agenda. These are one inch Levenger discs. And this fits really, really nicely. As you can see from the front, the dividers do not come out to the side, although they're like pretty much right up against the edge. And the agenda actually fits quite well with one inch discs. Now, for me, this is the biggest difference between these two agendas, because when you put this agenda in, with one inch discs, although it's wider, do you see that? Due to the stiffness of the agenda, it won't actually close with one inch discs. I can force it to close, and you can definitely like get it to close, but as you can see, it's pretty tight, and the agenda definitely won't naturally close with the one inch discs in there. So I think something like a three quarter inch or less would allow this to close properly, but that's really the main difference in these two agendas with what you can put in it. The Louis Vuitton is able to accommodate slightly bigger um, discs for disc bound notebook and probably a slightly thicker notebook as well. Now, if we put in the notebook, 
it's definitely a bit of a tight fit but we made it and even with this notebook this is a light term 1917 I'll actually put the uh, dimension of actually the thickness of this notebook on the screen this um, it closes better than the discs I would not consider this closing fully either to be honest um, but Again, that's just because you have that reinforcing on either side of the notebook, which makes it difficult to close. So I would say if the fact that the notebook doesn't close is going to bother you, either get pretty small discs or um, maybe get their other desk agenda. I personally don't have it, but it is a um, quilted pattern. And from what I've seen over on Instagram, people have been able to fit much thicker agendas in there. Okay, so those are pretty much the points that I wanted to touch on. I'm just going to go over the three main considerations that you're going to want to think about before choosing between these agendas. The three main things I would think about is the price slash like accessibility, the material or the construction, as well as what type of planner you're going to be putting in these notebooks. So going back to price, obviously the Louis Vuitton desk agenda is more than double the price of the cloth and paper agenda. And that's because you're paying for a luxury product, you're paying for a Louis Vuitton product. So if you want to invest in a luxury piece, then you know, this is a beautiful luxury piece. I really like it and I love being able to use it every single day. If you don't want to shell out $500 and like $50 after tax, then the cloth and paper agenda is also a really great alternative. Also, maybe before you buy a desk agenda, a good thing to do is to just use your notebook or your disc bound notebook on its own for a couple of months and make sure it's actually something you're going to stick to before you spend any money on getting something new. That's just a good life tip right there. The next thing I think you should think about is the material or the construction of the agenda. The Louis Vuitton is going to be a lot more floppy and it's going to be a little more narrow in width versus the cloth and paper is a little more stiff and it's going to be a little bit wider. I would think about that, especially if you're gonna be carrying it with you or it's gonna sit on your desk, that's gonna kind of have a impact on what you need. And then the last thing is what kind of notebook you're gonna be putting in this agenda. I personally find that the disc bound notebooks are a lot more accommodating in the Louis Vuitton. They tend to fit bigger disc sizes as we saw the one inch discs fit pretty well versus in the cloth and paper. You can fit one inch discs in there, but the agenda is not gonna close fully. So if that bothers you, I would just like be aware of that. And also with notebooks, it sometimes won't close fully as well. So depending on if you want your agenda to close fully and how thick your notebook is, um, that might be a big um, deciding factor for which agenda you get. Okay, so that is going to be it for today. I hope that I touched on some important things about both of these agendas and you guys got to see a good look of them side by side and get an idea for yourself which one you would prefer or you would want to go to if you're looking to buy one of these. Um, I've used both of these and these are both great agendas. And for those of you wanting to know which agenda I prefer, um, I actually really like both. I think, you know, if you're going for something that Maybe it's your first time buying a desk agenda and you want to try it out like you know the cloth and paper is a good choice because then you're not spending like upwards of $500 on a planner which might not be something everyone's comfortable with but if you want a really beautiful luxury piece I 100% recommend the Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I've had it for a couple months now and I think it is definitely worth the price although it's an investment piece I think I'm gonna get tons of years out of this journal and really enjoy it and cherish it. So that is my comparison between the cloth and paper and the Louis Vuitton desk agendas. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer them. I hope this was informative and helpful for some people and I will see you next time. Bye!